Google Sheets is a data tracking tool offered in Google Apps for Education. It's a wonderful device for teachers, students, and administrators if you're well versed in how to use it. So the first thing you want to do if you need to create a Google spreadsheet is to log into your account and get to Google Drive. From there you can create a new spreadsheet by clicking create and then selecting spreadsheet. Here you'll see it looks just like uh, any other spreadsheet that you maybe have seen before. It's got as many rows and as many columns as you need. One thing that's really useful is this plus button down here. You can create new sheets to your workbook. So you can add as many of those as you need. Unlimited. You can also duplicate tabs if you need to. So I'll show you one example of when you might need to do that. Here I have a student progress chart that is lives in the resources folder of the Google Sheets section. Um, but say for instance this is just a student tracker where they can put in their test scores and watch how their graph corresponds to it. So say for instance this is the language arts tab. If you got down here to the end of the month and you ran out of room you could just duplicate this and make a whole new tab that saves the formatting. So you just click on this arrow of the tab and select duplicate. And you'll see down here now I have two copies of the same one. So you could go ahead and then just delete these and change the name by again clicking the down arrow and renaming this to maybe if you've already ran out of the first language arts maybe you could say this is second language arts and now you have a whole new sheet to work with so you never really run out of formatted spreadsheets another great function in Google Sheets is that it allows you to insert charts now here in this you see I've inserted a chart that just shows a graph of the student scores, their test scores in language arts. Um, basically what you want to do is just select a column to click in and then insert chart. This will pop up and it will ask you to edit the chart. So the first thing you want to do is select start and then you can use this to select the data range. So basically what you do is you'll just go through and select as many cells as you need or as many cells where the data is going to be typed in and then click OK. And then you can go through here and edit and customize the charts as you need to. So I'm not going to actually get too super deep into this right now because I'm going to show you a better chart editing function in uh, a later tutorial. But I just want to show you really quick that here in the resources folder so you go to the masters project root level and then Google Sheets in the resources folder there is a spreadsheet with examples of new charts I've included these in here so that you can use the charts that already exist as templates without having to go in and recreate every single chart you can come in here and use these um, by reverse engineering you can click on these and go to advanced edit and it will allow you to see how these charts became formatted so you can essentially just reverse engineer and work backwards to see how to make these charts or you can just take them out of here and copy and paste them into your own chart and then just go in like I showed you with the chart editor the chart editors right here the advanced edit and all you'll need to really do in order to change that chart to make it your own is just delete the data ranges that they have for their charts and update them with your own by selecting the proper cells. So these are just a few of the basic functions of Google Sheets. We'll have some more advanced tutorials later on in the folder. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to all of them. Thanks and have a nice day.